Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Georgi Matviev, sitting here at David's Guitar Loft in Webster Gross, Missouri, right outside St. Louis. And today, we're gonna be doing an un unboxing. Two unboxing, as you can see here. We got two boxes. The wonderful folks at Larrabee sent us some sick new acoustics to uh, have in our shop. And I believe, I don't know this for a fact, I, I'm 99% sure these are both the same guitars but one has mahogany back and sides, one has rosewood. I think, I hope, because that's gonna be cool, because that leads into other things we're gonna do in this video, <laughs> if that's the case. Anyway, let's get to it. Which one should we do first? Which one? We're gonna do, should we do this one or this one? Let's go with, uh, let's go with this one. All right, oh, nice big box here. Let's get my knife. There we go. Yeah, we're good. Um, no other goodies. One thing I like about the Larrabee cases is that the guitars are super snug in there. There is no there's no wiggle room, which is what you want. <laughs> We're gonna get risky. We're gonna get risky. Set it on this chair, maybe? So, open her up. Dang. Not quite in tune, that's okay, dude. Voila. Can you see that? I really don't wanna, I really don't wanna drop this thing. I just, literally just opened it. Let's just get out of the case, who are we kidding? Spruce top, mahogany, back, and sides. Look at this thing. There we go. Camera B. I mean, look at this. This is a gorgeous top. Headstock. Boom. Kind of not quite in the light. That's okay. Pretty, pretty sick guitar. Classic. Let's go over the specs real quick. We have an ebony fingerboard, mahogany, neck, back, sides, spruce top, ebony bridge and face plates, bone, nut, and saddle. Um, it's got the cutaway, body meets at the 14th frets, all the good stuff. Really, really cool guitar. We also have a maple binding around the body. So as you can see here, right, maple, all the way around. Very beautiful, elegant look. And yeah, this guitar is a ripper. I'm a fan of this guitar. This is cool. Let's do a couple strums. This sounds amazing. There we go. So here's the 57. But now, let's check out the other one, which is literally the same thing, just with the rosewood back and sides. We will compare the two and see how exactly their sounds, how their sounds differ, if at all. All right, so this is the rosewood one. Let's open her up and see what we got. Hey, hey, pro tip, always cut away from you, never towards you. Don't be a silly boy or girl. Just don't be a silly, okay? Safety first, my friends. 
cut away from you, not towards you. So if you cut towards you, you're bound to get hurt. It's just inevitable. It's inevitably going to happen that you're going to get hurt. But we don't want that. So here's this guy right here. And what's nice about Larabee, I'm sure other companies do this as well, they'll have right here a little, a little tag on what kind of guitar goes in here. In this case, it's a VM03RWO. And open her up and see what we got inside. Yep, that's a guitar. All Larabees come with this registration form with the serial number, maintenance, all that fun stuff. So this one, same exact model as that, except, yeah, you can see in camera B here. Rosewood back in sides, which is just, it's a different kind of wood. So let's take a quick glance at this guy. Ooh, all right, we got some cool figuring on the top. Very exciting about that. All right, so just like the other one, we have a spruce top, ebony bridge, ebony fingerboard, ebony face plates, right? Boom, boom, boom. Mahogany neck, right? But it's gonna have a rosewood back and sides. Look at the figuring. That's fun, that's exciting. We will find out if there's actually a sonic difference in sound. I don't know if you can capture it. I don't know if the camera's capturing it, but there's some really cool figuring on the spruce top. There we go. Look at that. Boom. Here's the two guitars next to each other. Virtually identical. See that? Then you turn them over. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Stunning, ain't she? Oh, God. <laughs> and just like with the previous guitar, it's got the cutaway. No electronics in this. We're leaving it up to the customers. If they want electronics, we'll happily install whatever electronic pickup they want in here. If not, you can just buy it as is. Pretty cool. So this is the OMV 03 RW Rosewood. Okay, this sounds fantastic as well. Honestly, from just playing this, I don't, I might have to pick that one up and play the two, like back to back, because right now, I think going off of memory, let's do that first. This one feels and sounds like it pushes a little bit more, it's a little bit crispier. I don't know. That's why luckily we have both of them here. Let's give this one more good strum. And we'll play the same chord progression. We'll do this E minor, C add 9, G, D thing. Okay. Ooh, this one feels lighter. Wow. So, here we have the mahogany guitar, right? Same exact model, just mahogany back and sides. Let's hear that same chord progression. I don't know. Let's try that again. You know, I will say that the mahogany one is a lot lighter than this one. This one's, this one's compared to two, either this one's really light or this one's slightly heavy. <laughs> All right, let's hear this one one more time. Okay, and I will go back to here. 
and we'll officially make our decision. God, this is so much lighter. It's kind of crazy. I don't know what it is, but there is a difference. I don't know how to tell you though. There's sonically something slightly different between the two, but it's so close. So this one is just, it's, it's, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but it sounds cleaner. Okay, what do I mean by that? Like the whole, entire spectrum of sound, it's a lot clearer. And, but what I mean by that is there's not as much low end coming from this, I think, okay? Okay, play this. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. To me, what I'm hearing, and I hope it cuts through well to you guys, is this one, it, it just, it, it's more balanced right? And that's what I mean by clearer. Like everything's more balanced. There's the highs and mids and lows. They all play with each other nicely. With the mahogany one, it still sounds great. Okay. So I'm not, it's not like I'm throwing shade at the mahogany one. It's just a darker, lower sound. That's it. This one to me is a little bit more balanced across the board. That one's just slightly darker. And if you're into that kind of thing, that's totally cool. Like that's probably, that might be your jam. You want a dark, thick, throaty, low sounding acoustic, you go with that one. You want something a little bit more balanced, you go with this. All right, that's gonna do it for the video. These guitars are sick. They literally arrived, well, they arrived yesterday. We unboxed them today. It was really cool to hear the difference between the two woods, right? Uh, rosewood, mahogany, really cool stuff. I'm sure we're gonna be doing lots of other fun videos with these guitars. But anyway, they are here in our shop. David's Guitar Lock in Webster Groves right outside St. Louis. So if you are in the area, Come on in the shop, play these for yourself. If you wanna take a lesson with me or our 10 other instructors, we can do that. If you need some kind of repair done on your guitar, we got you covered. And of course, amps, guitars, we do everything here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye-bye.